Now we have learned to draw the outline of the heart. We will see how we can superimpose the coronary arteries on this basic outline of the heart. <clears throat> Remember that the coronary arteries arises from the aortic sinuses. So here is the ascending aorta arch and descending aorta. Somewhere here is the aortic sinus. You have to imagine that the right coronary artery arises from this right aortic sinus and the initial part of the coronary artery cannot be seen it is hidden by this right auricle so it arises from there it has a hidden course so that is why we are drawing with the dotted line and then here it emerges we can see that uh, coronary artery there and then it runs through the coronary sulcus it reaches here that is the inferior border of the heart from there it turns back to the posterior coronary sulcus so we will draw this part as dotted line and this point was crux it crosses the crux and it ends to the left of the crux here it gives a branch named as the right corners branch which supplies this part of the heart and there is one right marginal artery which runs along the margin or the inferior border of the heart and here posteriorly from the crux it gives a small branch descending down through the posterior interventricular groove named as the posterior interventricular artery so that artery is named after uh, the location so it gives uh, lots of atrial as well as ventricular branches uh, I'm not drawing in this diagram so these are the major branches of the right coronary artery while saying about the left coronary artery it arises from the left aortic sinus and that has uh, so you have to remember so here is the coronary so here is the pulmonary trunk you have to imagine this as a cylindrical structure so this right uh, so this left coronary artery passes behind behind the it passes the left coronary artery passes behind the pulmonary trunk so that part is also hidden and it reaches between the pulmonary trunk and the left auricle in that part you may be able to see the coronary artery but it, uh, but it is deep inside after immediately reaching between the pulmonary trunk and the left auricle the left coronary artery divides into two branches one is anterior interventricular artery which descends through the anterior interventricular groove it reaches close to the apex of the heart near the inferior border from there it turns to the posterior interventricular groove so there we draw as dotted line you remember this was the posterior interventricular artery a branch of the right coronary artery and that anastomosis in the lower part of the posterior interventricular groove and the next branch of the left coronary artery so from here is the uh, anterior interventricular artery and this artery goes around it encircles the heart through the left aspect so this branch is named as the circumflex artery it runs in a groove between the left auricle and the left ventricle it reaches the left margin of the heart from there it turns posteriorly and it runs through the posterior coronary sulcus there you can see that this anastomosis this artery I mean the circumflex artery anastomosis with the right coronary artery left to the crux of the heart now we have these two major anastomoses one is the circumflex artery anastomosing with the right coronary artery to the left of the crux the anterior interventricular artery anastomosing with the posterior interventricular artery which is a branch of the right coronary artery so here also we have an anastomosis at the lower part of the posterior interventricular groove and this gives a left corners branch and here is the left marginal artery you can easily draw the coronary arteries with the outline of the heart thank you